beautiful experience that we all were satisfied after a big meal in a Filipino way that you eat a lot and then you sit in the couch and say, oh my gosh, I eat so much and you feel good. That's exactly what happens to the disciples. They were hungry and they don't know what to do and the disciples, humanly speaking, told Jesus, dismiss the crowd. Jesus said, no, give something himself to me. Oh no, we don't have the money. Send them out. We are in the certain place. And Jesus said, no, give them something to me. And do you know what to do? And Jesus said, what they have? Here they are looking for something. Just five loaves of bread and fish. Okay, bring it to me. And Jesus prayed, blessed. Break and give it to them. Jesus prayed, Bless, pray to them, and give it to them. It's exactly what we're going to do in a few minutes. The celebration with the Eucharist. And what happens? Everybody was satisfied. Everybody got eat. And they are leftovers. So today, today Jesus said to them, Okay, I dismissed the crowd because you told me to. I want for you to go into the boat and I see you in a, a few minutes. So they get into the boat. They came all together as one in one place, the boat. Very soon, all of you, especially the desire community, is coming together in one boat to celebrate Senor Santo Niño. We'll come all together. They have one thing in purpose. We and Jesus. But Jesus has something else in mind. When they went into the boat, getting off the shore. Jesus said, I need to go and pray. So he goes to the opposite direction. You are in the ocean, into the lake, into the sea, and Jesus goes to the mountain. Mountain is a higher place. And sometimes it's exactly what we do. Sometimes we are all connected and we just move ourselves to another place. It's called the mountain to a higher place. And what we do? We need to pray. Why? Nobody knows what is in our heart. Only God does. Nobody knows what's in Jesus' heart in that moment. But He needs, humanly speaking, the presence of God the Father and the Holy Spirit. So He wants to be connected. He wants to pray. And it happened to all of us. Sometimes you are so sad, happy and excited and joyful and then you say to yourself, I guess I need to say a Hail Mary. I just need to say an Our Father. Or we just close our eyes and what we say, Thank you Lord. It's a beautiful experience. So we retire ourselves and we have something special. Mother is so happy because the children are at home. It was a peaceful dinner, amazing but it's true. And the people are so joyful. You know, father, wife, probably his salary was raised or whatever, so he wants to express gratitude. That's what Jesus is doing. He's going to express gratitude, going to a different place. Then, as the beautiful to his gospel, the Jesus will say, Oh, I forgot, I have to go to see him. So let us go into the boat. And when we see the boat a little bit far, so Jesus is God. So you know what he do? He just walking. Keep going. He's walking with the water. Now, the humans, who always love to speculate, oh, it's a ghost, look at what's happening. Something is wrong here. And when they see closely, they say, oh no, it's not a ghost, it's Jesus. Get quiet. They say, Jesus try to pass by. But because they know what's going on, what's happening in that moment, it's like a big storm coming. Everything is moving, and everybody is afraid. When we have to see Jesus face to face, we start changing. You know when? When you have to go to confession. How do you feel each time you go to confession? Oh my God, I'm not sure about this, you know? Maybe the priest knows me more, and what if I forgot what I have to say? So the disciples want to meet Jesus face to face, and they are really like, What's going on here? 
But Jesus tells them, do not be afraid, take courage. It is me, it's I. And when they hear Jesus' voice, they come down. And the wings were peaceful. How many times we have struggles and tribulations and we just elevate the prayer and we open something to God Almighty that we need. And at the end of our prayer, which is in our encounter with Jesus, then we are more peaceful because we know that we can trust in Him and He is the one who is going to get us out and help us to the other side. And so it happens. Today exactly is what happens in the scriptures. So this is the first day of the novena. How many of us would like to be at home? Have this big celebration, big fiesta that was going on. But we know that the most important is to be connected in prayer, in the celebration of the Eucharist. And we bring our heavy hearts, perhaps, with so much going on in the world. And we desperately need peace. Sometimes we leave our country for a better lifestyle. And here we come and we hear that this kind of difficulties and pains. And we know that by trusting in God, everything is taking place. So the first day of the novena, in honor to Santo Nino, the Sebu, we pray and we are begging God for peace. The peace doesn't mean the absence of problems, but even the midst of problems and difficulties, the confidence and the trust that everything is going to improve and to do better. And the wisdom, the only God from God's Holy Spirit. You just say a beautiful prayer to Señor Santo Nino, right before Mass begins. We ask in God, the only one who knows, and we wish what He wished. What God wish, wish is nothing but peace in this world. If we know that all is possible. So let us continue our prayers and invite God to come into our midst. And as we will receive the Holy Communion in a few minutes, we know that God Himself is going to be within us and walking with us. May God be praised. Now and forever.